All right, so for this problem, we're given that we have a plane flying um, at a radius of curvature, um, and it's being tracked by a sonar station at this origin. Um, and so we're supposed to find R double dot and theta double dot based on these given values. Um, so first we're gonna start by combining our coordinate systems. We're gonna wanna use for the origin, we're gonna use a polar coordinate system, which based on this, it's going to be ER is pointing towards the plane. And then E theta, you see the direction is going up and to the left. So we're gonna draw that. Then for the path coordinate system, it is on the particle or the plane. Um, and so we're gonna have EN, and that's pointing towards the radius of curvature. And then ET, which is going in the direction of motion or velocity. And then we have theta, it's gonna be here and here. And then we can draw extensions of that. Just to help visually understand where theta is at. It's gonna be here and here. And then also uh, we have theta is 36.87 degrees, um, which we know that that is a three, four, five triangle with four on the bottom. And that will help us just with our calculations. So for the rest of this section of the problem, we're going to be determining your EN, ET, ER, and E theta with respect to one or the other. So making your equations to convert between one another. So to start, you look back at your drawing that we previous did, and then you're going to pick one to start. So let's start at EN. So whatever one you're starting at, you want to make that your hypotenuse. So for this case, EN is going to be our hypotenuse and we're gonna to wanna to find it with respect to ER. So you draw your line with EN being your hypotenuse, which is gonna make the angle between the line you just drew and your ER your 90 degree. So since this is theta, we know that the angle in here is 90 minus theta, which is gonna make this top angle theta. So from there, you can determine your sine or cosine for this. So with respect to ER, this is gonna end up being your opposite over your hypotenuse. So that's gonna be sine. And that's gonna end up being positive because it's pointing in the same y direction or er direction um, so then if we go to e theta you're going to do en with respect to e theta so once again you're going to make your triangle with en as the hypotenuse and e theta as your base so here's your 90 degree this would be 90 minus theta and then we already have theta labeled here so for this one, you're gonna end up doing the same as this. So you're gonna have your theta here, which is gonna make this angle wanna be cosine because you're gonna wanna have your adjacent over your hypotenuse. So this one is gonna be cosine. And then this is going to be positive as well because if you kind of tilt your head and look at it, EN is pointing in the same direction as the e theta component. So then to continue on, you're going to have ET with respect to ER. So ET hypotenuse respect to ER, you can draw your line. This will be your 90 degree. And then this is theta. So your ET with respect to ER is going to be cosine. And that's going to be positive as well. 
and then dt respect to e theta is going to end up being you can go off of the line that we extended here so et hypotenuse e theta 90 degrees here theta is here so your one here that we're looking for is going to be negative sine. So then moving on to ER, you're going to ER with respect to ET. You're going to ER, ET. Sometimes it helps to draw a new coordinate system, um, but I'll just draw an extra just so we can see a little bit easier. So ER respect to ET, ER is now your hypotenuse, where ET is gonna be the other, so your 90 is here, theta is also still here. So ER respect to ET is gonna be cosine. And then ER respect to EN, same thing as before, so now it's like this. EN, ER, and then we determined earlier that this is 90 minus theta, so now ER is your hypotenuse, so this is going to be 90, and this is going to end up being theta. So ER is going to end up being sine, and that's going to be positive. So lastly, you have E theta. E theta with respect to ET, you can go back to your drawn line. So we have ET, E theta, and then E theta is going to be your hypotenuse now. So your 90 degrees is going to come off ET, and then we still have theta being here. So theta is going to end up being So this one's going to end up being with ET, it's going to be sine. And then with respect to EN, the triangle is going to be down here, here, hypotenuse here. So then this angle is going to be your 90 minus theta, this is going to be your 90, and this is going to be your theta. So then for E theta, your EN is going to be cosine, but it's going to be negative. Okay, so as Dr. L always says, um, we have to get our apples equal to another apple. Um, so it's all the same thing. So we're gonna, we need to find r double dot and theta double dot, but we can't do that without finding r dot and theta dot first. Um, so we want to start with velocity. So we have velocity equals vp. And that's in the e t direction, um, and then there's no component of velocity in the e n direction. So we just put a zero. You don't have to write that, but it's easier when you go to do your math later. Um, and that's also equal to the polar um, coordinate version, which is just r dot er plus r theta dot e theta. Okay, so now um, we need to somehow get this over to here and find r dot. So um, we know that ET um, is going to be cosine of theta ER. Um, so then we have VP cosine of theta equals R dot ER.
and then we just divide by, well no, we don't even do anything, that's just it. Um, so then we can plug in our numbers, which is gonna be 75 meters per second, and times cosine of theta, which we already said before, it's a three, four, five triangle with um, the cosine of theta being uh, four over five, which is just 0.8 um, equals r dot. And then we have multiply those together, and we're gonna get r dot is equal to 60 meters per second. Okay, so we're gonna find theta dot now. So, like we said before, apples have to equals apples, so you wanna find your thetas. Um, so we can look at our ET with your E theta sign. So we're gonna have R theta dot equals V P times negative sine theta. So to solve for theta dot, you're just gonna have theta dot equals negative VP sine over R. So then all you gotta do is plug your numbers in. So theta dot equals negative, and we can look at our givens. VP is 75. And then the sinus theta is the 0.6 of the 345 triangle. And then R is given as 1,000. So theta dot is going to give you negative 0 0.045. And that's going to be inverse seconds. All right, so now that we have r dot and theta dot, that's gonna make it a whole lot easier to find r double dot and theta double dot. So we're gonna to have to use our acceleration equation now, which is going to be a equals b dot in the et direction, plus b squared over rho in the en direction. And we know that v dot is zero because it was given in the problem that um, our vp is actually constant. So that goes to zero, and this is gonna be set to the polar version of the apple, which is going to be r double dot minus r theta dot squared, and that's in the er direction, plus we have theta double dot r plus r dot theta dot, that's in the E N direction, no, no, E theta direction. Okay, and so moving on from that, we're going, we really want this portion here to solve for R double dot first. So we're, it's going to be V squared over rho E N equals R double dot minus R theta dot squared, and that's in the E R direction. So now we need to get these two equal to each other. Um, so we're gonna plug in um, the, the sine theta um, for En here. So then we have V squared over rho sine theta equals R double dot minus R theta dot squared. And all we do is add this term to the other side. So the final equation V squared over rho sine theta plus r theta dot squared. And we can go and plug in our values to find the numerical value of r double dot. Um, so we have 75 meters per second squared over rho is 3,000 meters. And that's going to be all times sine of theta, which we know is actually going to be 0 0.6. And then we add R, which is 1,000 meters, times theta dot squared, 
which theta dot we found was negative 0 0.045 inverse seconds. And when you do the calculations, we're gonna get r double dot equals 3.15 meters per second squared. Okay, so now we're gonna find theta double dot to finish off the problem. So we can use this equation up here, but with respect to the e theta term. So we know that these two are equal, but it's in the e theta direction. So we can rewrite this equation being v squared over v squared over rho times the cosine of theta, because we'll take the e theta term of en. So if you look, en cosine. And that's going to equal theta double dot times r plus 2 r dot theta dot. So these we found, which we have written here. So you can simplify this down to get your theta double dot to equal the quantity of v squared over rho cosine theta minus 2r dot theta dot all over r. So then from there, all we have to do is plug our equation, or our numbers in. So you're going to end up with theta double dot equaling r v squared, which is given to be 75. 75 squared over rho, which is 3,000. And that's all times cosine of theta, which is going to end up being your 0 0.8 minus 2 times r dot, which is 60, times theta dot, which is negative 0 0.045. And that is all divided by r, which is 1,000. So that's going to give you theta double dot to equal a positive 0 0.0069 and that's going to be inverse second squared. So we got for our final answers theta double dot is equal to 0 0.0069 inverse second squared.